all right let's get into it yeah all right so i'm doing this lace bride look that i found on pinterest but getting started with my base um just doing my normal regular regular makeup routine foundation um i am going to do this eye look similar to the one you see in the photo smoky eye so that's what i decided to go for as well <laughs> When they shot Bambi's mother, did you find that a sad moment? Oh. At all. <laughs> Here you can see me eating <laughs> um, and you'll see why I'm like stuffing my face now but I'm watching the nanny and yeah. <laughs> my normal makeup routine, foundation, concealer, all that good stuff setting it and here i'm just putting a powder foundation over my base because i don't want it to be too dewy and mix in with the paint that i'm going to be using later so definitely use the powder foundation then set my whole face so i don't get no separation and plus my under eye was looking a little too a little too bright so i needed to set it so i could you know tone it down a little bit and get some of the powder off So here I'm just drawing the circle. This was definitely a trial and error moment. I drew the circle with a white pencil first and then I realized that I did not even like it. <laughs> so I wiped it off. <laughs> and I thought that I should get a cup and put paint around the rim and then just stick it on my eye and try to match it on the other side. This was really hard because once I put the cup over my eye, it kind of distorted my vision so I couldn't see clearly. So it was really just like, a risk that I was willing to take so yeah so here I just took a makeup brush and I used like the smallest circular end that I had on one of my makeup brushes and I just dotted the inside of the circle um this I did it really really slow I tried to get the circles as small as possible but still getting them close together you don't want them to be too separated because you want it to have that lace look so yeah, I tried to get them as close to one another as possible. And now I'm just doing this little nose outline. I'm not really too sure what I would call this, but um, not really sure if I was feeling it either, but the girl had it in the picture, so I did it too. Um, I had to redo this one other time because it was a little too wide, so I made it a little smaller later. And then here I'm doing the spider web on my forehead. So I just made one singular line in the middle. I wish this line was a little bit thinner. Um, I should have just used a thinner makeup brush, but it's fine. Now this time I tried to make like freehand the lines on the side for the spider web, but I ain't like this initial line. So I decided to wipe it off. <laughs> I realized if I wanted this to be right, I would have to like trace closer to the outer lace of my eye. So I did it over. And then this gave me a better gauge on where to put the middle line. Cause at first I was like, oh my God, I'm only gonna have space for one line. But once I did it this way, I had space for all the lines that were shown in the picture, thank God. Then I did the web little line. So these are just like, I took like a really skinny brush and I just did like a half, I just did a curved line in it there is shading for this part but I saved the shading till the end now I'm just putting foundation over my lips for the hardest part of this look and then I'm also putting a white translucent powder over it as well like I said you don't really want the oils and the foundation to mix too much with the white because white is a hard color to come over um and I was looking like Dave Chappelle <laughs> but nevertheless I took my modern, modern renaissance palette and I took the brown color in there and I just shaded the inside of my mouth. That's how you get like the scary depth look. And then here I'm taking a flat eyeshadow brush, a really thin flat eyeshadow brush, and I'm just dragging it up my lip. And then at the end, I'm just making it a little thinner and tapering it off. You want the line, you want the fake teeth to line up with your actual teeth so that way you have a good basis to go off of but nevertheless that's that's what I did going all the way down and since my lips are curved um I did have to like make like actual teeth towards the corner of my mouth I don't know if you guys can tell but I had to keep following the line um 
above my lip so when you get towards the end you want the teeth to be a little bit smaller i could have made it a little smaller there here i am eating because i'm about to do the bottom of my mouth and once i do the bottom of my mouth i can't eat so taking a little food break um and then here i do the bottom so literally the same kind of vibe from the flat end of the brush and then tapering it off towards the bottom and now for the shading. So you're gonna go in between the teeth and you're gonna start shading. If you did it right, you can literally go straight up and down. Um, you also wanna shade through the teeth and bring it all the way out to the side. Um, but yeah, this is the shading part. I'm using that same brown that I used on the inside of my mouth and I'm just shading through the teeth. So that way it can give that, you know, scary depth look, you know? Okay, now I'm doing the spider web on my chin, literally the same vibe as before. And then in the picture, she did have like these little curly curls on the side of her face. So I just did the same thing. I did shade before I put this down. So I literally just shaded the same outline that I'm doing now um, with that same brown that I used for the shading for the mouth. So yeah, I'm just putting the little curly curls I saw in the picture. This one wasn't that hard. Um, just had to get the, you know, the little flick of the wrist. Okay. <laughs> and now I'm putting dots, same dotting method that I used for the inside of the circle around my face. And then I'm shading the inner corner of my eye to give it a little bit more depth, like in the picture. I don't know. This really brought the look all together in my opinion. But yeah now i'm going in with the shading on my forehead since the white at the top is all dry you really do want it to be dry before you start shading but i'm just shading in the um the spider web and look how much better that looks it looks so much better gives it so much more character and now i'm shading the bottom of my chin too and giving that one um some depth and now i'm putting the pearls that i saw in the picture on there i just got these pearls from michael's and i put lash glue on my face and just stuck them on that was the easiest way for me and last but not least, we got the lashes. You know, we gotta get the lashes popping. Couldn't be bothered with lashes during this whole process or I would not be able to see, so lashes came last. Okay. And then, this is the final look. Woo-hoo. So here is the final look. I just got this veil from Amazon. Um, got this um lace bodysuit from fashion over years ago and i'm gonna take some pictures but here is the final look 